right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today, I was noticing that there are some species that would be an interesting sting subject in my family's yard here in Rockwall, Texas. So we are going to be on the lookout for the red paper wasp, Polistes carolina. Now, if you live in the south of the United States, you are more than aware of the sting of the red paper wasp. I have so often heard that this is the most painfully stinging wasp in Texas. So often heard it is the most painful sting anybody's ever endured. And I'm curious to compare it against the tarantula hawk and some of the other species that we have, we, the royal we, I have endured. Because the tarantula hawk seems to continue to disappoint me. So there's a nice little grapevine area here. There's lots of nice perches for these wasps to kind of hang out and feed. And so um, let's take a look and see if we can find them. Let's go. Okay, so I think this is Polistes metricus in this net here. See it kind of running around it's at the top. Uh, it's about the same size, but I said I was doing Polistes carolina. So I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm gonna keep this in the net just in case, because worst case scenario, this should sting just as hard. So, I guess we will, we will see. Okay, there is a red paper wasp right here, guys. Okay, so we found exactly what I was looking for. So that's that other one I caught. The red one is back here. There's two wasps in there now. So you can see how bright red that one is. Polistes Carolina. Okay, so I'm gonna move over here in the shade and I'm gonna try and pluck it out with the tweezers and then it will sting me. It's gonna be extra fun because there's two wasps in here now, so I gotta try and get one out. I don't wanna lose it. Okay. So come in, come close. There's that other one is gone. Look at that stinger. You guys see that stinger right there coming out, probing, trying to sting these tweezers. So this right here is a red paper wasp, Polistes carolina. Now these wasps are social wasps. So what that means is that uh, these create little paper nests, hence the name paper wasps, and they feed on proteins and sugars. So they hunt other species of insects, uh, caterpillars are favorite food, and they will mince them up and bring them back to their larva, which they store in little hexagonal kind of pockets, kind of like honeycomb on a beehive. But that is that not a beautiful, deep, reddish orange wasp. Now they have enormous eyes. They are visual hunters. Look at that, that stinger is just firing, firing, firing out. Look at that. Now they're supposed to hurt really bad. Polistes, um, in general, have a very potent venom and a very painful sting. So I guess without further ado, we're gonna try it. So you can come in, take a look at my arm here. Get a good view. Look at that wasp. Polistes carolina, the red paper wasp. Here we go. Ooh, wow, yeah. Okay, look at that stinger in there. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Yeah, that is, I mean, immediate, fiery. Wow, the stinger is barbed, so it is stuck in there. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is painful, painful sting. Look at that, stuck in my arm. There it goes. Come take a look at that. Look where that went in. 
some light bleeding under the skin, already getting red. So this, by far, one of the most painful stinging insects in Texas, in my personal opinion. Um, again, these, uh, these wasps are visual predators, so they just fly around, kind of flit around, look for prey, find it, catch it, mince it up, feed it to their larva. Um, that was super, super painful. Um, the initial sting was immediately painful. The stinger was stuck in my arm, as you saw. Um, I mean, I would say at least as painful, if not a little bit more than the transalock. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, look at that. Already starting to welt up. This area around is very tender. I mean, that was a, a hefty sting there. Look at that. Sensitive to touch. Um, it's actually, the, the pain is pretty much ramping down. I mean, it still hurts, but it was definitely that immediate shock. The first, you know, maybe five to 10 seconds was definitely the most painful. Um, and it still hurts now, but um, not nearly as much as it uh, had. Um, now, wasps are really, really interesting. A lot of people don't like wasps, but they're actually a personal favorite of mine, insect-wise, mostly because they are critically important for our ecosystems. Um, almost every single species of wasp uh, native to really any ecosystem is an, ex and an extremely important pollinator. Um, these insects are able to pollinate vast species of plants, and um, they're just critical to the health of any ecosystem. They're also food for hundreds of other species of animals, birds, bats, frogs, lizards, everything. Um, so, you know, wasps really aren't that bad. I mean, they're defensive with their nests, sure. The species that are social, they are very defensive about their nests. If they think you're gonna attack their nest, they're gonna sting you, but why wouldn't they? Um, but just out in, in nature just flying around hunting they're very quick to flee very quick to get away um it was actually super difficult for me to find and capture the ones that i was looking for because they're pretty few and far between they come out to feed in the hotter times of the day it's it's kind of later afternoon um but all in all pretty interesting come take a look at it now an extremely distinct welt and some weeping there, which may actually be venom. That yellow right next to that entry wound. But um, it is, I mean, my hand's shaking a little bit. And it is very painful. Um, I would say, I would say that most of the polistes stings, uh, the paper wasps, it's kind of a flash in the pan. like. Bam, it, it hurts immediately. It's really hurting for a few seconds and then it kind of dies down pretty quickly. I mean, I'd imagine, and I'll keep updating, but I'll imagine that after maybe 30, 45 minutes, it's not gonna hurt, it's just gonna be swollen. Um, but I will keep updating too. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret. I've been keeping some of these sting videos secret for a while because I kind of like the surprise and the suspense um, but I'm hoping before the end of the year, I'm going to try and investigate some county reports for Polistes carnifex. That is a species that does in fact range into Texas and Arizona. Um, it's a good nine hours from where I live. Um, but it's in my state and seeing that I can't travel out of country, um, it is feasible that I could find and record a Polistes carnifex sting. Um, I will continue to need your lovely support. Subscribers are the only way I can really do what I do. Views are the only way I can really do what I do. Um, we're getting to the point where we're seeing some growth, but we need more because I'd like to start being able to fund um, trips for you guys and the types of videos that you guys would like to see. So remember to share, tell your friends and family. If you think it's a cool video, share it. I don't, I mean, if you're trying to have an argument with somebody like, no, they, they don't actually hurt that much or, oh, well, 
you know, the Brown Recluse doesn't do everything that everybody thinks it can do. I've got plenty of videos. That's exactly what my videos are for, for winning arguments online with people who say, well, fine, do it yourself. Okay, well, I have to save you the trouble. You're more than welcome to use my videos. Um, but that should be all. I'm going to keep updating and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. All right. Okay, so this is about 15 minutes, I want to say, after the initial sting. You can see that the swelling has encompassed this large portion of my arm, and it is very red. Um, again, just like I said, the, the pain is almost entirely gone. Not really painful at all anymore. But obviously the swelling is probably going to keep going and there's going to be a little bit of just red puffiness, I imagine, for probably the rest of the day. I'd imagine it'll be mostly gone by tomorrow. But it was very painful. I was a little bit surprised. So that's impressive. Okay, so this is about two hours after the sting, maybe two and a half. As you can see... Not really red, not really swollen anymore, just that little dot. So, all in all, it was a very painful sting. Um, quite, quite, quite painful. But, again, flash in the pan. It really hurt, hurt for a few minutes, then started dying down really quickly. Not like the long-lasting pain as some of the other species we've encountered, like the bullet ant lasted for a long time. Um, tarantula hawk lasted longer. The... Vespa Tropica lasted longer, but I would say, honestly, without a doubt, Polistes Carolina, the red paper wasp, I mean, if not one of the most painful stinging insects in Texas, definitely in the top three, I would say. Um, I would say it's it's neck and neck with tarantula hawk uh, for intensity and pain, not necessarily for duration, but it, it freaking hurts. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember to like, Remember to comment and remember to subscribe um, and share it with whoever you'd like because that's how we grow is by you, the people at home, sharing. So thank you. All right. Love you. Bye.